Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Melissa if you're new here and you guys, I am so excited for today's video. We are going to do my Monstera collection. I love Monstera. It's my favorite genus. And I don't have many collection videos on my channel, which is kind of surprising. I definitely want to do more collection videos to have them all in one. And I'm going to do Monstera today. It's my absolute favorite and I can't wait to show you them. I did write them all down so that I would not forget. I have over 20 Monstera plants, you guys, over 20. And I think I have 11 different species of Monstera. Some of them are duplicates and I do have multiples of the same plant. I will probably put some pictures on the screen when I talk about each plant of what they look like when I first got them, roughly how long I've had them. But I'm really excited and I can't wait to show you and I hope you enjoy my collection. So I have them all written down here and they're in no particular order. I'm not going to show you them like favorite to least favorite or anything like that. I'm just going to grab and show you guys. Some of the plants are a little bit too big to move and to try and drag you know in front of the camera to show you guys. I'll probably save some of those last and then just take you to those particular plants to show you. I think it'll be a little bit easier than trying to drag them down here. I will kind of mix it up and vary it up a little bit and yeah I'm excited. I'm actually going to start with one of my poles behind me because I think it's going to be one of my up and coming favorite plant so let me show you all right up first is going to be my up and coming favorite plant i just i just know this plant is going to be on my favorite list so this you may have seen on my channel before this is a monstera escoletto and this was imported from Indonesia. It was from Root Greenhouse. It is currently working on a new leaf, which I'm super thrilled about. I can't even tell you how beautiful this plant is, you guys. And it's done so well for me after the import. I just think it's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can just make out these beautiful leaves on this plant. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at those split leaves. And this leaf is huge, like it's pretty big. <laughs> it has roots in one of these poles that you can see right there. You see those healthy roots there growing into the moss. So these plastic poles, if you notice them in my plants, the plastic ones I've talked about on my channel a lot, they're by Thickly, but this one is their larger grow pole, not the regular size. So it's six squares across, so it's a little bit bigger. And I chose the bigger one for the Monstera Escoletto specifically because I knew that these like leaves get pretty huge on this plant. Ever since this plant acclimated to my space, it seems really happy. And I'm just thrilled that I have new growth on this plant already. I'm just so excited. I just, I love this plant so much. The next Monstera is one that I haven't really shown or talked about much on my channel or my Instagram really. The reason being is you may notice a lot of white on this plant. So I got this plant, I can't remember if it was earlier this year or last year. I think it was last year, like in the fall. Yes, I remember now because we had hoped to be into this house and it was like my treat to myself. I did purchase this plant as a two leaf cutting from Botanica's and it was very, very expensive. I'm sure these have come down in price significantly, but back then it was super expensive and I splurged and I treated myself from like all of the hassle from like moving and selling our home and all that. And I've struggled to get this plant to grow because it constantly gives me white leaves. So this is a variegated Monstera adansonii and it had another node that activated on its own. I didn't chop this plant or do anything. The original node is this growth here. So it's kind of split into two. The original vine is the smaller one that produces a ton of white leaves. That was the original growth. And then all of a sudden this new node here started to grow and it gave me some green on it finally. So I have two separate nodes growing. I do want to get this plant staked up, I think on a thickly pole, and I do want to do that sooner than later. The internodal spacing on this Monstera is very tight. Do you see that, how tight that is? 
I think I've had at least 10 leaves, maybe even more, die on this plant just because they're white. And you know, white leaves, they don't have as much chlorophyll. So yeah, the white leaves are pretty useless for this plant. So I, I, I am glad. I, I wonder if this node activated as like a survival mechanism for this plant to like push out this growth with green as, so it wouldn't like just kill, you know, kill itself. But yes, these new leaves, like that new leaf is gorgeous. And this leaf over here is beautiful. I can't wait for it to start growing better for me, but I think, I think, I don't know if I'll wait till the spring or I'll get it potted up sooner than later. This line over here is pushing out some like chunky roots. So I think I would like to get it supported sooner than later. The cutting was a little deceiving because I didn't think it would be as small as the pictures portrayed. I remember thinking that and I wished I had gotten one with a little bit more green, but I didn't know it was going to give me so much white, but that is okay. It is beautiful now. I do love it. I am glad that I bought it and I'm just imagining a huge plant of this one day. It's going to be so beautiful. It has been very, very slow to grow because of all the white, but that is okay. I'm happy that I have this node over here growing some green leaves, although it does give me like still gives me white leaves on this other node as well. So it's been a struggle, but I love it. Next up is my favorite plant in my entire collection. This is my Monstera Aria. And look at those leaves, you guys. Look at those leaves. So I recently did a repot of this plant on my channel and I removed the moss pole and I changed it to a stake and you can see there's lots of new aerials that are growing now. I did slightly upsize it, not like a ton. And it did push out a new leaf, which is right here since that repot. It is a tiny bit smaller, but that is okay. It did give me a couple more splits in the leaf and you can still see that nice variegation. The one before that one was obviously the, the biggest one. It doesn't feel super ready to push out a new leaf yet, but this plant has been giving me a new leaf maybe every, I don't know, once every three or four weeks, something like that. I feel like it's been pushing new growth. So I did get this Monstera as a two leaf top cutting and I rooted it and grew it. This was the first tiny leaf right here. These were the two original leaves. The first new leaf was really tiny and then each new leaf kind of sized up. I had my first split there and then this one, there's one over here that's kind of turned and then the three up top. So it's done really well. I can't wait to See this plant climb more. I just love the yellow variegation. I think the yellow is so pretty. I know not everyone likes yellow, but there's just something about this plant that I just, I just adore. And I love that it's growing so well. So yes, my favorite plant, it was expensive, but totally worth it. I don't regret buying this plant one bit. I find this Monstera to be pretty easy care and I haven't noticed like any browning or any anything with this plant. I hope it continues growing well for me because now that we're like into winter, they are still like in front of the window getting good light. So hopefully they'll still push out new leaves, you know, during winter time, but we'll see. I'm just excited for this plant and I'm excited to, you know, to see the growth that I'm gonna get in the future. So my favorite plant, I love this Monstera. I need to water my plants. It is Saturday today and I normally water my plants over the weekend. So I really need to water my plants. I can tell some of my Monsteras are thirsty. So I need to get on that probably tomorrow. Next, I'm gonna show you my Monstera albos. And for those of you that know me, know that I love Monstera Albo. And I know I said the Aria was my favorite plant, but I go back and forth between my Aria and then this specific Monstera Albo here. This one was my first Albo. I purchased it as a cutting and some of you may know the journey that I've went on with this Monstera. It took forever to push a new growth and since that time, I collected two more Monsteras. I recently did a Monstera Albo care video, so I don't wanna talk about these too much. I can link that up here for you. I kinda of show you all these guys up close a little bit more, and 
yeah, kind of like my journey with these. But this one is the one that's like the most special just because it did, it takes so long to grow and it was like a sentimental plant gift and everything. So this one I love the most. It is pushing another new leaf, which looks very white. You can kind of see it up top. Hey Chai. But yes, I've gotten all this growth this summer since about April of this year and it's done really well. And this is another Monstera Albo, this one here. This one has two nodes growing, and this was a plant that I got, you know, after my first Albo. And then I had one more Albo, which I split into two in that repotting video, which is these two here. This one was a little bit more white, and this one had some like cool sectoral variegation going on. And yeah, this one does have a new leaf up top, which is kind of continuing to be that half moon pattern, which is amazing. I honestly love half moon leaves on a Monstera Albo. If I can get this one continue growing like half green and half white, I literally would be obsessed with that and honestly would just be so lucky because to have this kind of sectoral variegation on a Monstera Albo would be just a dream. So I technically have four plants now because I did separate one and the more the merrier. So I love these. I've gotten all this growth pretty much this year on all my albos. They all started off as cuttings. And I honestly, I'm so excited to see the growth that I'm gonna get on these plants next year. I hope they continue to grow well for me. I just want huge growing Monstera albos in my collection and I'm really excited for these all. I love them so much. So besides my Aria, these are my next favorite plants in my collection because I just love variegated plants. And these plants are a dream. I'm very lucky to have all these. I did buy all these plants myself and yes, they mean so much to me. Next up, we are going to do Monstera Thai Constellation. I do have two of them in my collection. One is a new one that started off as a small plant that I got recently. I would say within like the last several months. And one is this one that I grew from a tiny node, you guys. And this leaf, look at that. How could you not have a more perfect Monstera Tycon leaf? Look at that creamy up top. This plant is to die for. I love Monstera Thai. I love Monstera Albo. Thai is definitely very gorgeous and I love both. It's hard to choose between one or the other. This one has been very happy. I've had no issues with this. I have repotted this on my channel and this was a new leaf since the repot and it's gorgeous. And yes, I grew this from a tiny plant and I love it. It makes me so happy. It's done so well for me too. And this one I haven't really shown on my channel, I don't think. It severely needs a repot, you guys. I have roots coming out of the top of the pot. I probably need to upsize it soon. But look how cute that one is. And that's a new leaf here. It has two little baby leaves and this leaf and then this leaf here. So it's so cute. I am very excited that I have two. Do I need two? No. I probably won't keep both of them. I, I more or less will probably not keep this one down the road, but I do need to repot it soon. Yeah, it is getting very snug in here. So that's another repot project I'm gonna do. But I love Monstera Tycon. And yes, this one is my baby though. I just adore this one and it's done so well for me. I love it. This next one is one that my cat chewed. So this was another Botanica's purchase. It suffered leaf melting when it arrived. It had six leaves. It was shipped bare root and it all died except for one. The leaves literally melted into nothing. And it was down to one leaf and it, I got it growing pretty good. It had like six or seven leaves. It was a beautiful plant. And then Chai decided to eat it. He doesn't normally eat my plants. Every once in a while he gets picky, but he decided to eat this one. And this is all that's left. Actually, this leaf just grew. So my plant was basically down to nothing. This is my Monstera Oblica. And again, another plant that I absolutely love. I love the split leaves on this plant. Do you see how gorgeous that is? Look at that. The leaf is a bit thinner and the 
I guess the the holes like the margin the holes come in further like further in there's not much space in between them and the leaf shape is like long and pointed it has another new leaf here that's finally growing back and it has one more node up here that might that might grow possibly but yes I'm happy to see it growing back I was very sad when he ate my plant I was mad at him but then I couldn't stay mad at him I'm happy that it's growing back, but it definitely has a lot of work to do to get back to where it was, but that's okay. It'll be growing again in no time. Again, one of my favorite Monsteras. I just love these split leaves on a plant. It does get, I would say, some medium to some bright and direct light. I have heard these don't like as much light. I feel like I did have it under a Barina light and I feel like it was a little too intense. I was getting some yellowing. And so I did put it on a thickly pole because um, it was giving me a runner and I do have runners in my greenhouse cabinet and I have them rooting in fluval. So these are the runners that I have rooting in fluval. Do you see those in there? They actually are all three pushing new leaves. So they haven't rooted that much in here because they were just empty nodes without roots. So they are rooting a little bit in there. And then once these grow, I think I might just add them in here with this plant just to get this plant like filling out nicely again. I might not add them all three, but we will see. But I do have the runners that are rooting. That's why I wanted to get this plant supported ASAP because it gave me a runner and I just, I was a little too late on getting it supported. So these guys will definitely want support sooner than later if you decide to get one because they will just grow a long vine with empty nodes that you'll have to probably chop off, you know, if you want to get leaves growing. So I'm excited to see these doing well though. This next plant is my Monstera Stanleyana Albo. And this was grown from one single unrooted cutting long, long, long time ago. I got that cutting. I've had this plant, um, I don't, I wouldn't say quite two years. It took a while for the plant to get to like, I would say 12 to 15 leaves. It was just one vine and I chopped it back several months ago. And from that chop, I had like five nodes activate. And a lot of this growth is from all those nodes that activated. I do have a couple leaves that are a bit more like elbowy looking. That one's kind of minty. And there's some down here that are a little bit more white. Mine doesn't have like the best color, like as far as the elbow leaves, but it's doing really well. It Look at all those roots in this thickly pole. Do you see all those? So I recently extended this thickly pole too. So it's pretty tall. It's the second layer and it's climbing and doing really well. This one is sentimental just because I did grow it from just a cutting. So it's a plant that I won't ever get rid of just because I feel like it took me so long to get it to this point. And I do love it. I think the color and the variegation is, is pretty on this plant. It's not my favorite Monstera, but I do love it. I, I am still tempted to get the Aria one, the one that has the yellow, and maybe one that has like more variegation possibly. But we'll see, it's not anywhere like high up on my radar at all. I feel like it was a very slow grower to finally take off. I mean, it is pushing new leaves pretty quickly now that it's climbing, but before I didn't really have it supported with a pole, it was pretty slow to grow. And the leaves have sized up quite well. So yes, I do really love this one. I find it to be pretty easy care. It does droop when it gets really thirsty, but now that it's on a pole, I feel like it's been climbing and growing a lot better for me. So yes, I still love this one though. Next up is a plant that I've had for a while and it's my Monstera Peru. I do have the variegated version as well. Now, if you are thinking about getting a variegated Monstera Peru, I will advise against it because my variegated one here, I have tried to grow it about three times and each time the leaves continue to brown on me and I haven't quite figured out why or if I'm doing something wrong. I treat it like all my other variegated plants, so it's not my favorite. I honestly, I'm at a point where I just, I don't even wanna grow it anymore, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. This is the variegated one. <laughs> 
it does look very sad and it continues to brown. So I had this plant as a cutting and it grew, I would say three or four leaves. Then all of a sudden they started browning. I ended up chopping the plant back in an old video of mine on my channel. I had like a couple empty nodes from that and I ended up getting rid of a node and the other two I think just died. And it grew one leaf and this was the first leaf and it all browned here. And this newest one is browning here on the edge. The variegation on this plant isn't very prominent until it hardens. It takes a long time for this plant to fully harden when the leaves come out. This one was a nice half moon, but again, like it all browned. And it's browning on the dark green parts too. It's not just the like yellow parts. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm not giving it what it needs. If you guys have a variegated Monstera Peru and yours is doing well, let me know like what you're doing to get yours growing well. I don't know if I just have a bad plant or one that's prone to browning. I feel like it's, I mean, it's under a Barina light. I feel like and it's pretty close to it. So I feel like it gets enough light. So I don't know, this one hasn't been happy. So I can't quite figure this one out. So that's why it annoys me. So that one is probably like my least favorite Monstera. And then I do have the regular green Monstera Peru. In this one, I have several cuttings as well that I took. This one is not a Costa Farms plant purchase. This one I've had in my collection for a long time. I actually got it as, I think, a cutting, I believe. And I had it on a trellis for the longest time and it grew a ton of runners and it got really long and lanky. So I recently cut it back and I have several new nodes that are activating since chopping this plant. And I took several top cuts, which are finally rooted in here, just in water. So I do need to repot this plant. I don't think a stake was good for this plant. I feel like it didn't like being on that trellis I had it on. I don't know, I may end up doing a moss pole support for this or a thickly pole. I feel like it would maybe appreciate that and grow a bit better. So I think I, I will eventually repot these and do these on a thickly pole and grow these up. One of those I think is my plan with this. And I do love Monstera Peru. I loved, I, I fell in love with the leaves a long time ago. They just remind, remind me of like, dinosaur leaves <laughs> but you can find these at your big box store now from costa farms you can buy like a pretty big pot with big leaves for like 20 bucks i've kind of fallen out of love with it just because i feel like i neglected it for so long on that trellis and it just didn't grow well so hopefully when i get it potted on the thickly pole and it starts to grow bigger leaves i'll like it more because when a plant starts growing these tiny leaves when it's not supported i'm, I'm just not a fan of that as you can tell, I love moss poles. Yeah, I'm a little sad the variegated one doesn't isn't growing well for me. It's it's a shame because I did pay a lot for this cutting. And yeah, I just don't know why it keeps browning. I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty good at keeping my white parts from browning on plants. I, f I mean, I know it like happens, but for this one to consistently brown just kind of stinks. So yeah, like I said, if you have any variegated Monstera Peru tips, if you have one and it does well, let me know if there's something you're doing that I need to do or I don't know. I don't know if a lot of people, I don't really see the variegated Monstera Peru. So I don't know if people struggle with growing these. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into it much, but mine does not really grow that well for me. All right, we have about five more varieties left. I'm going to do a couple more here in front of the camera, and then I'm going to take you around to the other Monstera just because they are a bit larger. This one here, I meant to show you with my Monstera Esqueleto. So this is the other variegated Monstera Adansonii. This one is the Indonesian form since I got it from Rue Greenhouse. I recently extended the thickly pole on this one as well and it's growing so well this newest leaf is so so pretty it's gotten pretty big too i just love those split leaves i don't know there's just something about it i have several monsteras that have these fenestrations i just love them this one is beautiful because it's variegated and i think each of these plants have such a different and unique leaf shape i just love them all between the adansonii the variegated one the Oblica, the Escaletto, I just love them all. They're some of my favorite plants. This one's doing really well. It is, it is very, very rooted into this thickly pole in here. I don't know if you can make out those roots. It is climbing well, the leaves are sizing up. 
And yeah, I really like this one. It's grown really fast since the import. It, this one did the best as far as like the speed of growing. I have several new leaves on this plant. I think it came with the original four import leaves and then everything else has been new growth in my care. So yes, I love this one. Okay, I actually lied. So <laughs> that was the last one I was gonna show you in front of my camera. The next two are pretty large moss poles. So I'm gonna take you to my moss poles to show you those two. And then I have some others. I have one more in here. And then I have a couple others outside of my plant room that I will show you. But I'm really excited to show you these moss pole ones. And you guys, they are, they are some of my favorite pole plants and I love them. One of them recently gave me its first fenestration and I'm so excited to show you. So let me take you over there. Okay, I have two Monsteras here that I want to show you. And starting with this one here, this is my Monstera Sultipicana. And you can see how tall it has climbed. And look at that, you guys. Do you see what I see? It gave me its first split leaf. Do you see that? Look at that. I'm literally obsessed that I have fenestrations. And I just, I just love it. Like the leaves are getting pretty big on this one. And they started so small, like look how tiny. Look how tiny the baby leaves are <laughs> compared to how they're growing now. Isn't that crazy? And to see that just makes my heart melt. I just love it. It's one main vine and it does have some others that are growing up. This plant has so many vines in here. Yeah, I just adore this plant. It's gonna be at the top soon. This one is all wire. I don't know if I'll be able to extend onto it again or if I'll chop and prop it, I'm not sure. But it is very fast climber. It's growing very, very fast. It is shooting out sometimes even a third leaf before, like this one isn't even hardened yet. It's gonna get bigger and it'll shoot out another leaf and then another leaf before it like fully hardens. It's crazy how fast this one is climbing. This is my other Monstera. This is a regular Monstera Adansonii. You guys have seen this one on my channel a few times. I did a recent chop and extend on this plant. It is at the very tippy top almost, which means I'm probably gonna chop it again because half of this one is still plastic just like my Marble Queen. Look at that leaf, you guys. Look at, this is the new leaf since the chop. Off topic, but yes, look at how big these leaves are. Like they're as big as the Marble Queen. Isn't that crazy? It's just crazy to me that this is a Monstera Adansonii. Like look at these leaves. Look at that, that is just crazy. <laughs> this plant was one of my first plants I put on a pole. I'll have to put some pictures of this one when I got it. I started it on a pole a long time ago, but that was back before I really knew how to care for plants on poles. Kind of did like that wrapping around method. I didn't really know what I was doing. So I redid the pole last summer and it started like growing well after I moved and then I recently like chopped it and then I extended it. And this is all the new growth since I did the um, extension. Isn't that beautiful? I just can't with these leaves. I just can't. But yes, that one and that one are some of my favorite poles. And especially, I think the Marble Queen might be my favorite pole now. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Taking you over here, this is one of my Monstera Deliciosas. This is a rescue that I, did from Home Depot, I believe. The plant was very sad and pitiful. It's only given me two new leaves in my care, this one and this one. This leaf is huge, but it, it doesn't have any splits on it, which um, the reasoning was because I had it in this corner over here and it didn't get the best light, but I moved it and it has its own separate grow light now. And so it is happy. Once I put it under more light, it pushed out this leaf. So hopefully the next one that grows will have some fenestrations on it and it'll grow a bit better. This one, I'm just gonna let it keep climbing up and I'll have a monster with pretty large leaves. But yes, I love the regular green monstera. It was my first love. It's what made me fall in love with monsteras. And I do have some other deliciosas that I'm gonna show you next, but I love them so much. Over here are my other monstera deliciosas. 
and look at this one you guys look at the leaves these were two new leaves i got recently this is a recent purchase i bought it pretty mature and the only reason i got this one is because it had a couple spots of random sport variegation and i didn't think it would continue but you know i just bought it just to see what it would do and i only paid 15 bucks for it it has two main vines and the leaves are pretty mature. But yes, I am probably not gonna keep all these because this one is actually my oldest Monstera. It is pushing out a new leaf here. This one I did have outside all summer and I repotted it and it went into a little bit of shock because I removed a plastic moss pole from that one and when I repotted it, I had to manhandle the roots and it definitely shocked, but it does seem stabilized and it is happy and growing towards the light now. So yes, I'm excited to see that new leaf. But yeah, I don't know what my plan is with these Monsteras eventually. And I actually have some cuttings over here that I took off another one that are rooting in water. I had a baby juvenile Monstera, which is this one here. And it got thrips over the summer, so I just ended up taking some cuttings. It was outside, and I didn't see any more thrips on the plant after that. But these are pretty rooted in here, so eventually I need to pop these up soon. But yeah, I, I don't, don't need all these Monsteras. This one's actually my oldest, actually, I forgot, because it was my most juvenile. And then that one was my next oldest. And the reason I got that one, this one was a rescue too from a big box store and it had root rot and I took cuttings from it. So this like grew back from cuttings. And this was like an already like established purchased plant already. So yeah, I have lots of Monstera, including the one in the bedroom. So I eventually do not need for Monstera deliciosis growing. So I'll probably, you know, downsize and get rid of one or two of them eventually. I was just checking over my list. I think that's all of my Monsteras. I don't think I forgot any. So yes, that is my entire collection. I love Monsteras. It's definitely, like I said, it's my favorite genus. And I'm excited to do another collection video. I think I'll do Philodendron maybe next. Or let me know down below which collection you want to see next. And I will work on doing another collection video soon because I think it's just, it's nice to see someone's entire collection of a genus, I guess, and to see them all together. I really hope you enjoyed. I honestly, I just love them all so much. I'll tell you my two wish list Monsteras that I want one day. I want a Monstera Mint. It's way out of price range. I cannot afford that plant right now. I would love to have it in my collection one day. And another one I recently have been seeing and kind of have fallen in love with is the Monstera Flame. And that one is very beautiful too. And I'm sure I will want more Monstera down the road too, but those are some that are on my like wish list. If I ever get an opportunity to get one of those, I will definitely get them one day. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed my Monstera collection. And I'm just looking forward to even more growth. And I don't know. They just make me so happy. I think if all my plants were gone in my collection, if I could just keep some Monsteras, I think I would be happy. I would be sad to get rid of the rest of them, but just don't take my Monsteras from me. <laughs> huh? You'll have to let me know which one of my Monsteras is your favorite out of my collection. And yeah, I will be doing another collection video soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later.